Okay, so we got the G.I. Joe Recondo Tiger Force. Now, this is going to be part one, and I'll tell you guys in a bit why this is going to be part one, You or you guys have probably noticed it in the video as we slowly unbox Recondo, who is one of my favorite, personal favorite G.I. Joes as he debuted in 1984 in Revenge of Cobra. The mustache alone is a sell on this action figure. Like, that mustache, like, look at that. The twirl down there is absolutely outstanding. So here he is on box. Cool looking figure. It's a classified. You guys know what it is. They're a little rigid at times, posing them with articulation. Limited articulation could be a little bit better, as we know of any of the classifieds, but they put a lot of detail into it. You know what? Looks good. Look at that. The mustache alone is worth the, the price of this figure. Look at that, that alone, just the head sculpt, just the hair, just that's awesome. Comes with his accessories, his slouch hat, backpack, machine gun, machete, and gun. Now, we're going to do something different here, guys. This is the big one all about his hat. We know the hat should be slouched on his left side. So we're going to do this video. We did this video with his hat slouched on the right. I don't mind this look, to be honest with you. You could see him a little bit better sometimes. Part two is going to come later on with his hat on the left-hand side slouch. This video, we're doing it different. We're showing different angles of Rakondo with the Australian slouch hat. That's what it's called. So there's a the first pose we've done there with them. Next pose here, I love this one. This one's really cool. It's like he's ready to prance into action there. He's got his machete there on his left hand, ready to come about as he pulls his gun, probably holding it against, you know, Storm Shadow or Zartan. The colors also on this Tiger Force, because it's like, I think the 89 Tiger Force came out with the exact same color scheme, really works well with Rakondo. I mean, I still love the original Rakondo, but either version, if you're a Rakondo fan, he's just super cool, man. Now, there he is. He's he's out of his jungle elements there, guys. He's in the winter elements here, trying to cut through the branches there. As you can see there, he's got the machete in hand. Once again, we're doing the reverse here with the hat, with the slouch hat. So we're this is part one, guys. So if you're looking and watching this video still, this is what we're doing with this. I've seen some other people do it as well, too. So... I'm doing part one here with this hat like this, and then we'll do part two. Let's do comparison and see which one you guys prefer. Anyway, there he is now doing a, how do you do, Scarlet and Lady J, as he basically is posing right now there for the ladies, showing off super slicked hair, super perfect length hair as well too, and really showing off his mustache there with a twirl there, pure musketeer look. Anyway, figure is certainly, um, aesthetically wise, looks good. Uh, his left leg, I'm sure some of you that have it, his left knee crunch is almost non-existent. Now, I don't know if that's faulty on Hasbro's side, but again, classified figures I find are very rigid. You really got to work them in to, to pose them. And you got to be careful because I've seen some people break them in videos. So be careful, guys. If you try to get it posing-wise, be very gentle. You really got to work them in. Anyway, overall, 9 out of 10 figure for me works well. Um, I think that you know, Tiger Force, they should be really seeing more of these. I really dig the color schemes of them. I really like to see Flint come out and as well, Dusty as well. What I like about Rakondo is they put a body mass on him too, and he's not too skinny in his face. Where I found the Dusty one, if you guys have Dusty, he's a little bit thin in his chin area. They did it right with Rakondo. Anyways, guys, this is part one. Part two, we're going to do the reverse hat with the sludge on the left. All right, take care, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Yo, Joe.